Good to see you guys. Welcome to a new sport called pickleball. What, what? Pickleball. Pickle. Pickleball. Pickle. It's actually kind of a funny name for a sport, pickleball. So fifth grade, they were asking me, you know, hey, how did pickleball get its name? And uh, it was invented by a family, um, Pritchard's, I believe, was the family name, but they had a dog named Pickles. So the sport was named after their dog, Pickles. So it's called Pickleball. And I have never taught pickleball before, so I'm really excited to play this sport. Uh, it is actually from, uh, is invented from the sport of tennis. It was invented in 1965 here in United States of America and made for a backyard game for the Pritchard family's kids uh, back then, but has quickly taken off. It's a very fast growing sport and um, I've actually never heard of until recent years and uh, looking forward to getting into this lesson uh, to incorporate skills of tennis, of course, ping pong, and badminton. Even though it has a lot of similar rules as tennis and is played on a tennis court, it's much smaller. So you're not using the whole tennis area, you're actually using only a quarter uh, of uh, one of the, or excuse me, a half of one of the sides, so a quarter of the whole court. Uh, you can already see that the tennis racket is much, would be much bigger than a pickleball paddle. So this is the pickleball paddle. This is regulation size paddle. Uh, you can see compared to a tennis racket, the tennis racket is much larger, much longer uh, than the paddle that we're using here. Uh, compared to a ping pong paddle, ping pong paddle is much smaller than a pickleball paddle. And this is, if you don't know this sport, badminton. A little uh, broken badminton, almost. Um, but it is about the same size of the netting. It's just a longer um, handle for the badminton. So it's about the same, I would say, the same size as a badminton uh, racket. So um, Some of you at home um, also have seen a paddle like this. They use it at beaches called Kadima or Rally Ball. But uh, again, almost the same size as, uh, as this. So this would be actually a really good option to use if you don't have this at home. Pickleball. You also don't play with a tennis ball, you play with a wiffle ball. So, so now for you guys at home, what you can use if you don't have this. I, actually, I bought this at Walmart last night, a set. So two paddles and a ball for like 12 bucks. So they have them at Walmart um, for very cheap if you are into this sport. Um, but if you don't wanna buy anything and you don't have a wiffle ball, you can still use your tennis ball. Uh, I like a little plastic. If you have like a little tiny plastic ball, that will work. Um, but you can see it's about the same size as a baseball or a tennis ball. It's just, you know, it moves a little bit slower. If you don't have a paddle at home, uh, things you can use. Uh, I've seen students make their own with, uh, uh, they fold cardboard in half and they kind of cut it uh, to, to meet the correct size. Uh, I've seen uh, you know, it is wood, so some of you might even have like a little small piece of wood that you can use in the garage. You might have to hold it different, but uh, some of you can use that. The worst comes to worst, if all you have is a tennis racket, then just use your tennis racket. I don't know what you have at home, so make it happen, people. So, anyways, we have enough paddles and wiffle balls here at school for our students. Uh, we're gonna have a really good time. Uh, in step one, I want you to just get used to 
the ball and the paddle. And again, we're gonna you're gonna notice that there's some similar skills on this sport than we did in tennis. So in step one, you're gonna hit the ball up. You're not hitting it way into the clouds. Just get a good feel for hitting the ball up. And hit with control. You can do it. So now we are just hitting it up. Now, just like we did in tennis, now practice hitting it down. You can hear a little bit different sound when you hit it because we're using different material. Again, I don't know what you're using at home to make this happen, but if you're using a wiffle ball and a wooden paddle, you know, it's gonna make a little different noise. How many hits in a row can you guys do? Let's do it! Pickleball, lesson three. Pickleball. Lesson pickleball. one, man. Lesson one. Pickleball, lesson one. I like saying the word pickleball. Go. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Step three is uh, just to do some tricks. Think of tricks that you did on a tennis racket uh, with uh, sport tennis and lesson number one. Um, so you can do the flip flop, you can hit it up, do the up, down, up, down. You can switch hands. Left, right, left, right. You can do a behind the back. Woo! You can do a under the legs. All kinds of different tricks that you can do. Maybe you can invent your own, something that I haven't thought of. Trick time! Pickleball, take four. Pickleball. Pickleball. Easter eggs in the background. All right, in this next step, um, you're going to get with a partner, and just like we were underhand serving with tennis, now we're going to underhand serve pickleball. So you're going to hold the ball with the letter C, hold it down by your knees, strike it off the paddle, and your partner is just going to catch it so that they can serve it back to you. So serving it to your partner. Ow! Oh, and I'm a noggin. It <laughs> bounced right off his head. It <laughs> bounced right off his head. <laughs> uh. Whoops. Uh. So serve it to your partner. You have to go over there and record me so that they're not in it. Because a lot of parents don't like their kids in it. Pickleball. Pickle. Pickleball. Pickle. Pickle. Get that ball back in. Pickleball. Pickleball. So, pickleball. Get pickles. Pickles. It's called pickleball. Pickleball. Pickleball paddle. Pickleball paddle. Pickleball paddle. Pickleball. 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 One, man. Pickleball. Lesson. I like saying the word pickleball. Pickles. Pickleball. Take four. Pickleball. Pickleball. Easter eggs in the pickleball. Somebody's trying to get in. Mr. Wilmot, I forgot my key. Can you open the door? I can open the door, but what's the password? Nope, not today. It's not please. I love PE. Not today. I love volleyball. <laughs> you gotta say it. I love pickleball. <laughs> pickleball. pickleball. <laughs> I love pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>